Okay, folks, what I want to talk about this morning, we here at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical, we do a lot of electrical work also. We do a lot of air conditioning, and a lot of times these same tools apply to both trades. And all I want to talk about this morning is electrical safety devices, how you keep yourself from getting hurt, both in the air conditioning business and in the electrical business. So let's go over this right here. This here is a circuit tracer. And what you do with this, you're going to actually plug this in to a receptacle, and then you're going to trace this out at the electrical panel box. Because a lot of times when you go to a job site, you have to turn off a circuit. You go to a 200 amp service panel, you go to a 400 amp service panel, and you don't want to just start flipping breakers. I will demonstrate this in a later video. This also is a what we call a cheater cord. The cheater cord is something that you can use to gain 110 volts off of 220 volt circuit. And in this case, we can actually go to a wall mounted circuit, say a 110, a kitchen circuit, a bedroom circuit, plug this in and go back to the electrical panel box and trace it out. If you're wondering what this is, this actually screws into a light fixture. Now it is the male plug. And I will take this, plug it into here. That way when I go to a switch box and I have a two gang, three gang, four gang box, I will be able to determine which light this is. That will be a later video also. Let's move forward here. This is an induction tester and what this does, for instance, I'm just going to show you this. We walk over here and I'm going to see if this is hot. You see how this lights up? That tells me there is induction current on this device. This is one of the most important things that you can own is an induction tester. The next thing we have here is a polarity tester. Not only does it tell you if you have power on your receptacle, this actually has to be a GFI tripper also. So let me just demonstrate this real quick. What it does, tells me I have power here. Also with these two particular lights, it tells me that the grounding is correct on this receptacle. And if you look at it very closely, right here, this is what you're looking for. And it'll even tell you, ground, correct, right there. Also, if you look at it very closely, if you read this, it'll tell you also when you do not have a correct polarity receptacle. We'll talk about this later also. Here's another device. This is called an AMP probe. I like to use the field piece meter. The field piece meter works in several ways. It works also as a multimeter. Here are the leads for the multimeter. I'm going to show you how this works. Also, an AMP probe, what you want to do with an AMP probe a lot of times when you have a air conditioning circuit, you have a compressor, you have an air handler, you have a heat strip, you have a range, you have a pole heater. You want to check your amp load. Sometimes on a, a 200 amp service or a 400 amp service, you actually want to put it on the top of the leg around an individual circuit and see how many amps are coming through a circuit. That way you know if you have a balanced load. Very important. Amp probe is one of the most main tools that you as a service technician and electrician will use. This field piece meter, it being such a versatile tool, pull this off. Right here, you have your positive, you have your negative. So I'm going to take the black one and put it in negative. The red one goes into positive. Now, I'll just set my voltage to whatever I want my voltage to be. Okay? So that's all there is to it. This is a very important tool right here. This is called a tone generator. Now you see this little phone wire plug on it? And you see this right here? This particular unit right here, it has just, I'm going to point this out to you. A lot of times in the air conditioning world, we'll have a roof. We'll have lots of units on the roof. 
or we'll be in a condo or apartment complex and we'll have several systems. Now, one thing I want to point out, you have to do this with the power off. O-F-F. -F. This is called a tone generator. And what you would do, you would plug these two wires on the receptacle or the wiring, right here for instance. Or if you want to trace out a, a receptacle, uh, excuse me, a TV outlet or a phone outlet. You basically would plug this on and then you would trace it back with this. I will demonstrate this better. I do actually have a video now and it's called Find My Air Conditioning Unit. It explains a little bit about this. I would recommend you watch it, especially for you guys that live in the big cities and have to trace equipment up on the roof all the time. Folks, these are just some of the things that you have to have in order to do electrical. You have to be safe. I recommend that you always know what circuit you're working on. Always make sure if you have to shut a breaker off, especially if you've got other people working around you, tape it off, do a lockout. Be very safe with this. Electrical is one of those things that takes 5 milliamps or less to kill you. Okay, these are just some of the safety devices on the market, and I highly recommend that you buy them. If you got any questions about where to buy these things, how to use these things, how it should work, give me a call at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical. Call at 239-596-5855 or go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.